This is the Amazing Beer Drinking Man, and today we are doing Dogfish Head Palo Santo Moran. Now, Dogfish Head opened in Delaware in 1995. They're one of the fastest growing breweries on the East Coast for most of the time. They're expanded to a 100,000 square foot facility at this point. And they're a truly unique brewery. They will brew what they like. If you like it too, that happens to be a happy, a happy chance, but they brew what they like. And this is a very unique beer. I'm actually going to kind of read it here. An unfiltered, unfettered, unprecedented brown ale aged in handmade wooden brewing vessels. They use Parag Paraguayan and Palo Santo wood from each one of these tanks were crafted. At 10,000 gallons, each of these largest wooden brewing vessels were built in America since before Prohibition. It is 12% alcohol by volume, and it is a brown ale. And let's see what we've got. Very dark. Roasted malt all the way. Very thick, very dark head. You can smell the alcohol. You're definitely going to be able to taste the alcohol in here with that 12% ABV. Smell a little caramel, maybe even a little vanilla. And way in the bottom, you get a little bit of the malt. Pick up a little bit of yeah, the malt thing. Let's give it a taste. Definitely taste the alcohol. That's probably the first taste you pick up. And then you're gonna get that roasted malt flavor. Not a lot of hot flavor. This is a fairly under hot beer. A little bit, I'm getting a little bitter after bite. You get that roasted malt flavor, almost that dark chocolate, dark coffee flavor. So it's alcohol up front, malt, a little bit of hops at the very end. And you do get a little hint of the caramel flavor. This is not a beer for the faint of heart. This is not a, a light beer. This is a beer for people who really want to try to live on the edge. It's a, it's a lot of flavor, malty, delicious. It's probably only a two or three cap beer, but only for the fact that it's 12% ABV. You don't want to be drinking this and then driving, that's for sure. It's for the people who like strong beer. If you like a strong beer and you like a dark beer, it's very close to a porter actually. So if that's the type of beer that you like, you would really like this. I would give this two caps. I wouldn't see myself having more than two of these and before I would move on to something else. This is the Amazing Beer Drinking Man.